All right, uh, today um, we're gonna be finding the area between two curves. Yo, you drinking again? This shit's super easy. If you know how to do integrals and shit, like, you'll be fine. Fucking blow a f thank you. All right, so <laughs> this is the formula for finding the area between two curves. The area equals the integral from A to B of f of x minus g of x. Now when you do these, f of x is gonna be the top curve, g of x will be the bottom curve. So when you're given two functions, you're gonna have to draw the graph out and figure out what's on top, what's on bottom. So <laughs> let's do, you got something to say? Let's start here. So we're gonna find the area between x squared plus two and negative x. So let's get our graph going. We know that x squared plus two is gonna be a parabola starting up two on the <coughs> axis. Are you fucking serious? And then g of x, negative x, is gonna be coming down this way. And I'm sorry, the interval for this problem is from zero to one. So sometimes the interval will be given to you, sometimes it won't be given to you. I'm gonna show you how to find the interval if it's not given to you. Do we need to memorize our graphs for class? You definitely need to memorize. I, I, Josh, I swear to God, if you don't memorize, you're gonna fail. You're gonna become a stripper. So from zero to one, this being one, this is the area that we are looking to find. So keep in mind, like I said, I know I wrote f of x and g of x here, but you're doing top minus bottom. These variables here are arbitrary. So let's look at our integral. We have the integral from a to b, which is gonna be zero to one. f of x, so our top curve does happen to be our f of x here, x squared plus two. So we have x squared plus two minus negative x dx. So now we're just gonna simplify in here from zero to one, we're gonna have x squared plus x, distribute that negative, so x plus two. Now we integrate, if you don't know how to integrate, you probably should go, I haven't made an integration video yet, so go to someone else's channel uh, and then come back. So yeah, so now you're just gonna integrate we're gonna have x cubed over three plus x squared over two plus two x from zero to one. It's just a simple integration once you set it up. Uh, so what, we'll have one third plus one half plus two, all of that minus, all of these are gonna be zero when you plug in zero, so minus zero. And do I have to do this part? Yes, please. All right, if you don't know how to fucking add fractions, fuck you, but let's just do it anyway. That's your answer. Let's do a harder one, not a pussy fucking problem like this. Mm. All right, so now we're gonna find the area between two minus x squared and x. Um, if we draw this out, two, so we're gonna start up two, and then we have negative x squared and then we have x. So this is gonna be, you know, what we're trying to find. This is the area between the curves. But we're not told where they intersect. So if you wanna find where they intersect, you set the graphs equal to each other. So if we set two, my Jesus. If we set two minus x squared equal to x. So, as we can see, when x is equal to negative two, or when x is equal to one, these are gonna intersect. So now we have the interval that we need to do this integration. All right, so now we can set up this integral, right? So we have the integral from negative two to one. Of, let's see, our top curve is gonna be the two minus x squared because it's on top. And we'll have two minus x squared minus x. And I'm just putting them in parentheses to, to show you better. So. We can rewrite this as negative two to one of two minus x squared minus x. Just integrate normally. We'll get two x minus x cubed over three minus x squared over two from negative two to one. And you just plug in, do your integration normally, you'll get what? Do I have to fucking do this again? Yes. This is, if you are watching this video and can't at, oh my fucking shit. I, no, no, 
No, you are capable of doing this on your own. Fuck this. So was that the answer? Huh? Oh, uh, the answer ends up being a uh, nine over two. <laughs> <laughs> Look in the book, they skip that shit too. They just fucking, they just see. I feel like we're getting distracted. Let's do another one. So, um, we're gonna do. Oh my god. Tyler, I swear to fuck. <laughs> All right, so sometimes you're gonna come across graphs that intersect at more than two points, and uh, you're gonna have to evaluate those questions differently. So, if we set 3x cubed minus x squared minus 10x equal to negative x squared plus 2x. They see I wear a cook. I got people like book. Hang out with the cook. Run up shit, get took. So now you can see over on this graph how this intersects in three different places. So when x equals 0, when x equals 2, and when x equals negative 2. So now we're going to need to find this area and this area separately and add them together. That's what you're going to do when they intersect at more than two places. Also just want to say like I can't do this graph in my head either. So if you get a problem like this, they'll probably give you the graph or let you use a graph and calculator. For the left side, f of x is on top, g of x is on the bottom. So we just found the three different places they intersect. So we have negative 2, 0, and positive 2. So we're going to have to evaluate the left side of this and the right side separately and add them together to get the total area. So first, let's look at the left side. We're going to have the integral from negative 2 to 0. We see that our f of x is on top, g of x is on the bottom. So 3x cubed minus x squared minus 10x minus negative x squared plus 2x. dx, fuck. And then we're gonna be adding this. So I'm gonna write plus like this just for the sake of space. Plus from zero to two. Now on the right side, our g of x is the top function. So negative x squared plus 2x minus 3x cubed minus x squared minus 10 X. So I'm not going to do all this integration. This is a very long problem. If you want to do it yourself, the final answer is going to be 24. Um, but you're just going to evaluate this like a normal integral from here on out. Just know that if you have two graphs that intersect at more than two places, this is how you approach that problem when trying to find the area between two curves. That's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Do uh, you have any questions, Cho? Um, can you write on the screen like math BFF? Oh, you're not that cool. I'm not that cool, no. Make sure to subscribe. Um, just, uh, just go to him. Damn, dude, you broke the internet, bro. You got a fidget spinner on a vape? That's fucking, that's fucking crazy, my dude. That's crazy.